true masters of society. There have been questions, questions that have been not answered, and standpoints that don't have been challenged. The real masters of society have been the status quo. Or the social order. The make belief, the delusion, the matrix, the lie that we all tell each other. And the things that we refuse to see by our big ego and our Why our fear? Why our cowardice? Why our empathy and our pride? It all blinds us. True. When true, that be not always so fine, always so beautiful, or always so prominent. Story is true and bullshit. Human shit. Sorry, boobs. How being stolen from the mothers and dairy farms so that the mothers can give milk to humans that they make for baby cows. And the baby cows is their meal. The boobs. Because in both of this one other world for meal cow. Any humans on the human species that bring actually a lot of shit on it. They are being the only one looted in their own habitat by many forces. Most biggest cost and more of a culture. and tons of men who can put anything in one river around something like the animals in the animal holocaust in America produce any second in Eighteen miles on a nine thousand pounds of manure and and two sec and seconds. That's more than the whole entire population of humans. Humans, think for one moment, not about yourself, because that's the problem of all the problems of this of the world. Humans think only about themselves. Where is the, where is the empathy? Where is the art of wisdom that humankind claim to have? Claiming something don't mean anything. That you can do it, not sh show it. Make no sense. Something is only true if you prove it. Since no, a lot of humans have done a lot altruistic in their life. 100% altruistic. That we don't ask something. <laughs> In return, favored or for some, or favored from somebody or money, or what else? It's easy to see that humans being not so altruistic, actually. 
If humans be logical, altruistic, and moral beings, we don't so pollute the seas, kill 150 billion animals in the mid-terrain ecosystems around the world. And we also don't so enslave other humans to get cheap toys and clothes. And corporations that profit from misery and slavery. Not so life as a fight. Does anybody look around and do serious domestic and animal agriculture? I know the rain is stories like that. The biggest cost of actually most of our problems on the planet. And don't use the logical fallacies. For example, that um, meat eaters uh, cost less uh, harm to the planet because the bulls uh, uh, easily to debunk reasons like uh, that um, plants suffer over. That uh, bugs being killed for harvesting uh, food for uh, humans. And a lot of other from that kind of stuff. But if you want to make, uh, make a video more explain in more detail why that kind of reasons being absolutely loco, I like to do that. Put it in the description below. Maybe you think about it. Or maybe I want to do it. Animals being not food, clothing or entertainment, just like women being not punching bags and red toys for the boys for answering husbands, just like legs being not eat for the surface of the white man, but being for themselves in this world. For their own. So long, so hard for you to choose compassion over mortality, arrogant traditions, beliefs, and habits. Put that I collapse on. Put them in the trash. And see the world just like the people. And human beings see themselves as something separated from the rest, an optional delusion of his consciousness. This illusion is a kind of prison for us, to restrict ourselves to giving only compassion to some close to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison, by spreading our compassion to all living beings. Correct. Let me correct myself. All innocent living beings. In nature, in its beauty, and in the next world. It's not so hard if you maybe think. The only the only reason that it look that it been hard. It's because you've been so, so uh, programmed to uh, don't care about what we do to the planet and to others. You've been programmed like little automatons that follow blindly, follow blindly, uh, that follow blindly the status quo and be a slave to a rich man. I worship the rich man. I wake you, man. 
How can you ask for something mercy when you're not being willing to extend this to what already needs? A cow, a pig, a turkey, or another animal ever done in the whole life to deserve internal damnation and an eternal punishment. Eternal Holocaust. For the people that now scream, this is something to call it an animal holocaust. Let me explain the definition of a holocaust. Holocaust means in Hebrew the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. So how can it be insulting or or us? to um, use it for uh, Jews and are used for animals but not in insulting and obscure to use it for Jews the hypocrisy the Jews use and have it's so ironic When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible. Both in. What's the excuse for cost the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always in being.